Hello again. We are Chris Lee and Chase Robinson of Southeastern 16 here to preview Mississippi State's trip to Athens, Georgia to face the Bulldogs. 315 Central on the SEC Network. Bet Online has Georgia by 33 with an over under of 53 and a half. My models got it at 29. In either case, Georgia will be a prohibitive favorite at home. The Bulldogs got right last week against Auburn. That's Georgia's Bulldogs. We have two Bulldogs in this game, I forget. And Mississippi State took a week off after a competitive first half against Texas that kind of fell apart later as you get into a war of depth attrition with the Longhorns, which you don't want to do in any case. A state coming off a of bye week heading to Athens, Chase. Yeah, you know, you're it's a it's a tough spot for Mississippi State. You no, know, I was encouraged by the way they played. You you mentioned the first half there against Texas. Um just Blake Shapin goes out for Mississippi State. They're in they're in a tough position now. Uh, you know, I, I thought he was a good quarterback. It's a again, just a lot of turnover the last few years uh for Mississippi State. They're dealing with things that, you know, teams shouldn't and and don't have to deal with most of the time, but Michael Van Buren stepping in at quarterback, and uh, and and we'll see how he can he could lead this team. Uh, you know, he's I think he has a good arm on him, and you know we'll see if he can uh, locate some of these receivers. But uh, yeah, they're, they're, Mississippi State's just in a tough spot, and and Georgia's in a position where uh, you know they're they're playing knowing that they have a loss on their record, you know, and and they have to win um, you know every game they can now, and so. Uh, you know, this is a uh, this is a tough one for Mississippi State, but you know, I think this is one Georgia also has to. Hey, let's let's settle down, let's play our game, and make sure we get the job done. Well, let's talk about when State's got the ball. Uh, it scores twenty seven point four points a game. I think at fifty five against Eastern Kentucky, which has padded that a little bit. Sixty eight snaps a game, one point five percent turnover rate. State will run it 51% of the time, 4.6 yards per rushing play, 4.6 per passing play, but much of that under Blake Shapin, who, of course, will not be playing anymore this year. Georgia's defense allowing 14.4 points on just 59 snaps a game, 1.4% turnover rate, 4.6 yards given up per rushing play, 5.5 per passing play, 5 on the nose on all plays. I think that... Yeah, Mississippi State has run the ball better at times than I thought. They've got a, a multi-pronged running attack with Johnny Daniels and Devon Booth and Kayvon Lee. George has been a little bit more vulnerable to the run. I, I think I'm going to try that against them with Van Buren being a young guy and, and you know, an atmosphere like Georgia. But, of course, I'm sure Georgia is going to be expecting that, loading the box, daring to throw. So that's going to be the challenge for Mississippi State. It is. You mentioned those three running backs. I really like them. Johnny Daniels, 233 yards on the year. Uh, David Booth with 192 yards. And Kayvon Lee with 140 yards on the season. As Johnny Daniels averages about five yards per carry. So he's somebody they want to utilize. And, and yeah, you you got to imagine George will be ready for that. But, hey, try to pound it down on him, you know, to start the game. Yeah. And uh, we saw the kind of the approach Vanderbilt took against Alabama of, hey, let's just run it out and run the clock down. And, and I think that's what Mississippi State may try to do in, in this one as well. Hey, let's just try to string together a, a long drive. Let's run the football at them and make them put pressure and stop us. And I, I think with those three running backs and kind of bringing them in and out, maybe that could be uh, something uh, useful for Mississippi State to do. Yeah, and they need to be getting three and four yards of carry because what you yeah. don't want to do is put Van Buren in third and nine. And, and Georgia – only 11 sacks, but they really can get after the passer. A lot of pressures doesn't always translate into sack totals, but they can cause a lot of havoc, and that's not what you want in, in this one. So, anyway, before we flip the matchup, we remind you, we're brought to you by BetOnline, the world's most trusted betting platform and your number one source for everything football. It has every stat, every matchup, even live odds and spreads to bet on during the games. Think you know your stuff. Get in on a $200,000 mega contest. Pick five games against the spread every week for your chance at weekly prizes and a share of $200,000. Uh, and again, if you want to put some money on this game, betonline.ag is where you go. When the game's over, head on over to our online casino, get in on a game of blackjack or poker, or unwind with one of over 150 slots games. Head to the website today to get in on the action. Bet online. the game starts here. Georgia's offense, I think, has not done quite what we hoped. Put a, you know, 
put itself in a hole early against Alabama with the turnovers. You do have ETN back running the ball pretty well. They've got some weapons. Um, you know, Dylan Bell is a guy you got to watch. State just doesn't have a lot of depth and experience up front. Maybe some depth, but I feel like they've worn down late in games. And again, just a place where when you go through all this program has gone through the last three years, starting with the passing of Mike Leach, and then you bring in an offensive guy, that's kind of where they put their attention and what was a big rebuild. And I feel like when I watch State play, you've seen the defense wear down in the second half and, and teams run the ball against them. Now, they're competitive. They fight. Uh, but, you know, Arizona State ran the ball, controlled the clock against them. Texas kind of poured it on late. Toledo got the best open in the second half. I just feel like this is a Georgia team probably is going to show you a lot. It'll run the ball a lot and, and just see if State can stop it and, and take shots when needed. Yeah, you know, this is uh, this is a good Georgia offense. And and you mentioned they got themselves in a hole. They they came back. Carson Beck, a, a fantastic leader on this Georgia team. He's got over 1,300 yards this year uh, and, and, and 12 touchdowns he's thrown. Trevor Etienne, 300 yards rushing. Uh, Arian Smith, 278 yards. Dominic Lovick, 252. Dylan Bell, 216. Colby Young, 149. Lawson Lucky, 135. London Humphreys, 103. He, he, he's got so many guys to throw to. I think that's one of the reasons that this offense is so dangerous, just the plethora of receivers that he has and be able to spread the ball out a little bit. And I think that's why they will continue to be successful is they have a lot of guys who, who they can throw to, barring everyone continues to stay healthy. And so, uh, you know, I, I think that's – uh, that's big for Georgia going into this game. They do have the weapons, and uh, and I, I think you know again Mississippi State's in a position where not a lot of depth defensively to go against a lot of depth that Georgia have has offensively. Yeah, I, I see that uh, as kind of a mismatch. All right, let let's talk about predictions. I'll let you start. Yeah, I think Georgia wins this one. Uh, you know, I think they 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 win big here. Uh, this opportunity you know, for Georgia to. Uh, you know, to get a lot of guys in, I think, and and again, Mississippi State, nothing, you know, against them. There, it, it it's a struggle this year, and and they, again, depth is an issue. They lose their quarterback. Things just not going the way for Mississippi State, uh, and and Georgia uh, gets a good win here. Yeah, Kirby Smart is a master motivator. He even got on his home crowd after the Auburn game for not being loud enough. So you, you know, the thunder is coming somewhere. I think State is is competed. I, I like Jeff Levy. Has got got an offensive scheme. He'll get better players later, but I just think this is a spot where you're up against too much talent and depth. You saw Texas's depth where Mississippi State down last time. I, I don't think Georgia is anywhere close to clicking on all cylinders yet. Maybe this is the start of it. Yeah, but you know they've also got a game at Texas next week, so I don't think it's going to be a game where you you keep your starters in and your foot on the gas pedal midway for the fourth quarter. But as, as the SEC has shown us, uh, you don't take anything for granted. So uh, I, I think Georgia wins and comfortably so, uh, you know, w whether it's over or under the, the, the 33 point total, I have no idea because uh, I can make a case both ways, but look for Georgia to win this one. We'll talk about it later on our channel. As we recap games at night, hit the subscribe button, enable your notifications. So you see all that. Hit the like button. That helps our analytics, if you don't mind. And we do baseball and basketball also in the offseason. So we've got a lot of content there in those areas. And if you're interested in advertising, caroline.smith at southeastern14.com is the email there. For Chase Robinson, I'm Chris Lee. You've been watching Southeastern 16 presented by Bet Online.